In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can install VCF tools by compiling the source code. And so for this tutorial, you need to make sure you have a Unix like operating system and you should also have Perl installed on that system. Let's first go to the download page and then get the source code. This is the page and I'll leave the link to this page in the description box. You can also download the source code from the GitHub page and I'll leave the link to that page also in the description box. So on this page, just check the left side and you will see download zip and then download tar. So any of these formats should be fine. And so let's first download. Let's use a zip file here. So to download, you can just click it. And then after clicking, you can just save it. But because I'll be working on a terminal, I'll just get a download link. So I'll just still go to the same file. I'll just right click and then I'll just copy the link. And then I'll go to the terminal and then download it. So on the terminal, I'll first cd to my home directory. And then from there, I'll download the source code. I'll use reget. So I'll say reget and then I'll supply it with a download link like this. You can use any other tool to also download. So with this particular link, if you download, the file will come as master, but I also want to add the extension. So I'll say space dash O, and then I'll say master.zip. And then I'll download it. So after downloading, the file will be renamed as master.zip. It's just to avoid confusion. So I'll just run this command to download the file. Perfect. So the file has been downloaded. Let's clear the screen and just check it out. So do an ls and you will see the file there. The next thing we are going to do is to extract the contents of this file. So I'll unzip it. So I'll say unzip master.zip. So the files have been extracted. So let's check it out. Let's clear the screen. Let's do an ls again and you will see a directory here. So this directory contains what we need for the installation. So let's do an ls into it. So do an ls into that directory and you will see our files there. Perfect. So we have our files here. Okay, so let's proceed. So before we start the activity, because we are working, the assumption is that we are working as non-roots. We need to specify a directory where after installation, the file generated will be saved or stored. So let's first create a directory called apps. And then in that apps directory, let's create another directory called VCF2. So I'll say make the apps slash VCF tools. Perfect. So I'll cd to this directory again to get the four parts I needed. So I'll say cd apps slash VCF tools. And then I'll type pwd to get the four parts. So I need this part. You should do same and then get a part that will be displayed for you. So just copy the parts somewhere. We will need it. Now let's cd back to our home directory and then we will cd to this directory. So cd to it and then we can proceed. Okay. Now remember when we did the ls, we got these files. So before we install, we need to execute the .configure file, but it's not there. And so what we have to do is to first execute this file here to generate the configure file. Uh, so let's first execute it to get that file. So we say dot slash autogen.sh. So let's execute it. So we wait while it generates the configure file. Perfect. So it has been generated. So do an ls 
and you see that the configure file has been generated this file is what we need okay so we can proceed now let's continue let's just clear the screen and then just do an ls and then we are ready to go so we are now going to execute the configure file this file here we are going to execute it and so we execute and we specify the parts where we want to install the files and that is why we went to get a full part for that vcf2 directory so we say dot slash configure we add prefix so we say dash dash prefix equals and we specify the parts that we got so minus slash home slash students to slash apps slash vcf tools and then i'll execute this command so everything has been prepared for us so it has been done let's clear the screen and then just continue perfect the next thing we are going to do is to issue the make command so we say make and we execute it okay so the make command is also done let's clear the screen and continue now we are going to issue the last installation command and that is the make install so we say make install perfect so this will now move the directories to where we specified it let's clear the screen and then continue so now let's cd back perfect let's do an ls app slash vcf tools so you will see that we have this file there so let's do an ls again into the bin directory this has the executables so this and then you see these files there okay that's what we have at the moment but we are not done we need some pair models as well but these ones uh, with what we have they are not available so we are going to first create another directory and then move those pair models there and so i would say make the apps like vcf tools and i'll say lib i'll just leave it as it is this way perfect and then I'm going to copy those pair models. Those pair models are still in those original um, files. So, so do an ls into vcf to the original directory here and then into src pair. And you see some files there. So do this and then you see all these binaries here. But we need these files, the files with the dot pm extension. So this here, this file is one. And then there is another one. There are three of them. This perfect. And then this one. And we also have this one. So we need these three files. And so what I'm going to do is to copy them to the directory we created, this lib here. So I'll say cp this and then the pearl and i'll say star dot pm i need all the dot pm files they are three and then i'll copy them to apps slash vcf to slash lib perfect so now I'll do an ls into it and you see them there so now we are ready to go let's clear the screen and continue perfect so let's ls again into app slash vcf tools bin okay so now we can execute vcf tools command so let's just test so the current setup to execute the vcf tools command or any of them we have to give the four parts so let's say we want to execute we want to call this binary file here this one here so i'll say app slash vcf tools 
slash bin and then i'll call vcf tools perfect so it has been done nicely for us so this is how it's done let's clear the screen and continue so let's do it again so with the current setup we have to always specify the four parts okay so this can be problematic let's do an ls for example this can be problematic let's say you are here my files you need to still execute it and give the four parts and especially for beginners this can be um, very um, confusing and so what we want to do next is to set up our system so that once we type vcf tools like this it should execute a command for us and so what we are going to do is to edit our dot bash file we are going to add the parts we are going to export the part of a vcf tools to uh, our bash environment so we need to first get the four parts of the vcf tools bin and then the lib directories we need the four parts so well, let's check them out okay so let's first go to the individual directories we can do this straight away here but let's just go there and then just get them so i'll start with the bin directory so i'll say cd apps slash vcf tools slash bin and then i'll do pwd so i need the four parts here i need it so take note of this part here that's the first part we need now let's see the back and say slash lib let's go there and then get a part as well pwd perfect so we need this part as well this part so therefore we need this and then we need this okay so now let's go and then do the exports so let's cd to our home directory and now we can edit the bash rc file and then put all these ones there this and then this we add them to our parts so first of all let's make a backup of the bash rc file so i'll say cp dot bash rc and then I will name it as bashrc.bak. That's backup. Now I'll edit it and then add these two parts. So I'll say nano. But you can also use vi. So any text editor should be fine at this point. So I prefer nano. So I'll say nano dot bashrc. And then I'll go in. So I'll scroll down. Perfect. So we are editing the parts. We add the parts to the Perl bin directory, and we also have to um, add the Perl lib directory. So we say export path because there are paths, and we add a slash home slash student two slash app slash VCF tools slash bin we add this so we are down the path now let's export the pearl models so we say export pearl lib because we give the name the four parts slash app slash vcf tools slash lib and then we add this as well so that in case we already have some pair lib part set it will also be added now if you are using pair 5 that's pair version 5 then you also have to add a pair 5 lib so i say export pair 5 lib because the same part here slash apps slash vcf tools slash lib and you add pearl five lib okay seems here i did not add the two let me add it i need the four parts 
perfect so now it's done okay let me correct the typos here as well okay so i think now everything is done let me just check again perfect so now we are ready to roll so let's exit and then you also have to save changes so we are exiting and then we are saving the changes as well okay so perfect now we are done let's do an ls but for the current situation we still cannot execute it straight away so let's open a new terminal and then once we open it changes would have taken effect so let's do it that way so let's open a new terminal okay so after opening a new terminal just type vcf tools and now it has been executed so that is it so now you can execute vcf tools and then get some stuffs going so you can remove the files you don't need the backup file i'll remove it i'll say rmi rm-i i'll specify this be careful with the rm command because it can cause a whole lot of issues for you so just make sure that um, you confirm so i'll just do this and then confirm to remove it i'll also remove this and then this now i don't need them anymore so i'll say rm-i and then rm vcf tools perfect so let's do an ls okay so everything has been removed and clicked so now we are good to go and so this is how i bring my tutorial to an end so you can just use this to install vcf tools and also run some stuff if you want to know how to manipulate vcf files using vcf tools check this next playlist here